Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Sunday, November 18th. It's the 26th Sunday after Pentecost in week 6 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 66, Matthew 23, verse 13 to 24, and Colossians chapter 1, verse 12 to 20. <clears throat> now join me in singing the first verse of O Worship the King. O worship the King, all glorious above. O gratefully sing His power and His love. Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia, Psalm 66. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of God's name, and make God's praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit to you. All the earth shall worship you and shall sing to you. They shall sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. God is awesome toward the people of the earth. God turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot, and there we rejoiced in our God. God's might rules forever. God's eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of God's praise heard, which holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have proved us, and <clears throat> you have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net and you laid affliction upon our backs. You have caused enemies to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. And I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay to you my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats, Come, hear all you that fear God, and I will declare what God has done for my life. <clears throat> I cried to you, God, with my mouth, and you were extolled by my tongue. If I have evil in my heart, you will not hear me. But truthfully, you have heard me. You have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed are you, which have not turned away my prayer, nor taken your mercy from me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 23, beginning at verse 13. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you lock people out of the kingdom of heaven, and for you do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides who say, Whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools! For which is greater, the gold or the sanctuary that has made the gold sacred? And you say, whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gift that is on the altar is bound by the oath. How blind you are! For which is greater, the gift or the altar, that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the sanctuary swears by it and the one who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God 
and by the one who is seated upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. It is these that you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, give thanks to God, who has made us to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. Alleluia. A canticle from the letter to the Colossians, and please join me in reciting it. Alleluia, give thanks to God, who has made us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has brought us into the kingdom of Christ. In Christ we have redemption, through Christ's blood the forgiveness of sins. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by Christ were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by Christ and for Christ. And Christ is before all things, and by Christ all things exist. And Christ is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things Christ might have preeminence. For it pleased God that in Christ should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of the cross, to reconcile all things to God by Christ, things in earth and things in heaven. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>